Hi guys. Okay, so we are working with an eight by 10 inch canvas. And I think what I want to do is do a ring pour maybe on it with a little bit of negative space or a straight pour. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna go with whatever um, works in my head at the time. So I have Prussian blue here with a little bit of anthroquinone blue to deepen it up, or Payne's gray, sorry. Payne's gray added to the Prussian blue by Golden. And this was mixed about 14 ounces to about two ounces of the heavy bodied paint. This is Arteza's Bordeaux Red. And that is about 12 to 14 ounces to about an ounce and a half of the paint mixed in. This is Blackrylics Fluorescent Violet. I love this color. So if you're looking for it, this is what the bottle looks like. I haven't been able to find it online, but you know, that doesn't mean it's not available. Maybe I just haven't looked well enough, but I go into the store to get it. I'm also using Artist Loft Flow White. And this is mixed two to one with Floetrol, and I'm just using what's left over. With, and it has a little bit of um, satin enamel in it as well. I have the 24K Gold here by DecoArt Extreme Sheen. This is Art Mines Brushed Metallic, Metallic Sapphire. It's this beautiful color. And I'll say beautiful. And this is Arteza's Vermilion Red. I love, 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 love this orange. It, you know, or red per se. Um, so what I'm thinking about doing is either the, this blue, yeah, I'm gonna do the blue as a background color. And then I'm gonna come in and do maybe a straight pour or a ring pour so that there's negative space with the, the canvas. My duckies are quacking out there. So I think what I'm gonna do is just do that. And one of the, la the first colors I'm gonna layer in my cup is going to be the fluorescent violet because the fluorescent violet will be right up against hopefully the blue. I'm just spreading it around just moving the paint ever so slightly to cover all of my edges. And uh, go from there. We don't want too much paint on there, but I also don't want too little um, because then my puddle paint will not move. So what I'm doing here is I have some blank areas on the edge of the canvas and I just want to fill that in before I do my pour um, because I'm going to probably add the rest of this paint to the pour cup. Check this side, oh, just that corner, and we'll be ready to go. All right, and then I'm just scraping off what's on the bottom, dripping, and we'll get it back into the cup. All right, so next we are going to just sort of spread this around a bit. There we go, not that it matters. All right, next we're gonna layer a cup. And I think 
I'm going to put a little bit of white in this cup. And this is a nine ounce cup. I don't think I need an 18 ounce cup full of paint to do this one. Okay. I'll come in with some of the blue. and violet. Let's come in with some of the vermilion red, which is a beautiful color next to the violet. It really makes a great contrast color. All right. with the sapphire and the blue. Let's get some courage and put some of that vermilion next to it. We'll see, we'll see. And then I'm gonna come in with the fluorescent violet as my end color. I think that'll look a bit lovely next to the Prussian blue Payne's gray mix. I wish this color was, the acrylic color was a little brighter um, and maybe a little bit better quality because it is such a fantastic color. We all know it's Mina's favorite color. Okay, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. She does not like the magenta color. <laughs> so I'm just teasing with her. Um, all right. So I think what I'm going to do is just put a little, actually, I'll just use up the rest of the blue in here. through I think that way I am going to move this ever so slightly this way because I sort of like this edge maybe put a little bit of white over here to help stretch it That's just gonna help with the movement of the piece. So I'm gonna come down over to here and come on back. I'll go off that corner. 
I know you guys can't see, but I'm just trying to move it a little more. And I am gonna lean. I really want to broaden this a bit. I love this piece. Cool. I actually want to add this pink in here. Just a little smidge here and there. Um, but I'm really digging this. This is a, a pretty, pretty piece. I'll come in and do that. There we go. Clean up the edge just a little bit. Torch it. And I think I'm done. So let's bring you guys in for a close up. All right, here we are. I love that sapphire blue. And adding just a smidge of the pink there really sort of brought the color out. But I think this is pretty neat. I love the way this one turned out. I love this flowy bit here. It's almost like a flower blooming or something. But these colors are so pretty and I can't wait until it's dry. All right, guys, I hope you're having a beautiful day. I'm sending you the sunshine and uh, more to come. Bye. Hello, hello. All right, we're working with another 10 by 20 inch canvas. And I gotta spray it a little more. Where's my spray bottle? Oh, over here, a little frazzled. Um, to tighten it up a bit. And we are going to work with Turquoise Deep and I added a metallic, I think it's aquamarine metallic. I have Arteza's Pearl Lime Green in here. Antique Bronze by Modern Masters. I know I'm using a brown, man. I don't know if that's normal. Uh, Prussian Green by um, Arteza. And I added a little bit of this, let me see here, Green Metallic by Ceram Coat. So it has a bit of a sheen to it. I have Golden's Iridescent Fine Gold. I have some white mixed up here and what else? I do have some leftover metallic sapphire blue I might throw in there. We'll see how it goes. So what I'm going to do 
is cover the canvas mainly with this metallic color. And we're just letting the paint flow across it. Okay. And we'll do a little more here to cover edges. Let me see here. Anything I miss? When this dries, it is going to be really pretty and shiny. cup here and I think what we're gonna do is yeah my white's a little thick I'm gonna add a tiny bit of water to it that sounded like a lot but it's not Okay, so I'm just, just going to drizzle it on the bottom. And I'm going to put the fluid, Golden's fluid, right in there also. I'm not going to mix it with anything. Put some of that background color. And now we've got some of the brown. The Antique Bronze by Modern Masters. And the Prussian Green. And I'm layering my cup to slightly different, actually, put some of this gold in there. This is DecoArt's Extreme Sheen Gold that I just dropped in there. Different than the fluid. And now the Lime Green. And come in with some of this sapphire. I'm just using it up at this point. see here maybe some of the white mix and drizzle some of the sapphire do some more of the deep turquoise or the turquoise deep with the metallic and come in with the green again maybe some of the brown the metallic uh, antique bronze is a really pretty color some of the sapphire, which I think will look really pretty. Let 
just going to use the rest of it up. And I keep wanting to grab this vermilion red that I have left over, so maybe I will. <laughs> That's a beauty. And the turquoise. And the green, lime green. And I think I'll do some of the gold here. And the rest of that white. And the rest of the turquoise. I don't know what the heck that was. That scared me. So we have a little tiny bit of the turquoise still left. Um, and we will just And right is going to come in like this. Oh, I love how the vermilion is right there. come through looks sort of leafy all right now I know that I'm probably gonna put some kind of extender in here because well to be honest I think we're going to need it so I'm just going to use what's dripping off the canvas over here See what kind of fun we can create with this piece. I'm just going to get a little more paint off this canvas.
Okay, I'm going to leave that right there. And I love how that center one going off on its own looks like a little flower bud coming up in here. Yay! I'm super happy with this piece. I'm going to bring you guys in in just a few minutes. So bear with me. All right, here it is, guys. I love this little area right here. It looks like a, a flower coming through. And uh, yeah, yay. So I'm really psyched about this one. I like this little mini series of eight by tens that I'm doing, and I'm really looking forward to doing another one for you. So stay tuned.